of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. My people. So the Bible says, my people who are the so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Right, my black sisters? You are the chosen people of God. We are destroyed. Uh, what? Are destroyed. So, hey, family, y'all stick around. We asking, what is the solution to the black community? We, for lack of knowledge. So the Bible says that the black community, right, his people, which are the so-called blacks, are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. All right, so if we are destroyed for lack of knowledge, what, do we, what, what is the knowledge of God? So we can be undestroyed and obtain the knowledge. What is the knowledge? The knowledge of God. The, no the knowledge of God. So guess what? In the world today, you got Christianity, you got Islam, you got a lot of so-called knowledge. So what is the black man's knowledge? Oh. The original the original, the, the original uh, knowledge. I like what you said. Give me uh, Genesis. I'm gonna show you what the original knowledge was. All right. I'm gonna show you the original. So who was the original man biblically? Oh, the first born of God. Yes. The black man, right? So, but ultimately, we understand that to be Adam. All right, correct, right? It say Adam, right? And I'm gonna show you that Adam was a black man. And I'm gonna show you the knowledge, or the original knowledge that he got as a black man. All right, I'm gonna show you that. Cause that's what you said. Everything you said, I'm just gonna read it out of the Bible. Read. Genesis 2, all right, seven. The book of Genesis, chapter two and verse seven. You good, my brother, you come through. Read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground. Meaning he formed Adam from where? The dust of the ground. So guess what? What does that mean? Give me Jeremiah. What does that mean? The dust of the ground meaning what? Adam was a black man. That's right. Adam was a black man. I'm going to show you that. That's not my opinion. I'm going to show you that precept upon precept. We. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Listen. Judah mourning. What? Judah mourning. So the tribe of Judah, which are the so-called African Americans, right? Which the tribe Christ came from. It says Judah mourning, meaning they're in mourning because they lack the knowledge of God. We and the gates thereof language. Uh -huh. They are black. They are what? They are black. So the Bible says that they are black. Hold on. Unto the ground. So God formed man of the dust of the ground, meaning he formed Adam a black man. So guess what? You said we are the original knowledge is what? I'll go back to Genesis. Read that again. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. So before he reads it, what color was Adam? He was a black man, my brother. What color was Adam? My brother with a tattoo. What color is Adam? The Bible says that he was a black man. We And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Give me life. Uh, give me uh, pu uh, Proverbs. Uh, the, keep my uh, commandments and live. So what was the breath of life? The breath of life? Yes, sir. Oh, the breath of life. Yes, sir. That was when God breathed into the original man? Okay, was that, was that, was that talking about CPR? Most High God went like this to Adam? Okay. Okay, he made Adam from the dust of the ground. Okay, I like that, I like that. He breathed, he breathed knowledge into him. Right, and I'm gonna show you that according to the Bible. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter seven and verse two. Keep my commandment. Do what? Keep my commandment and live. So guess what? When Adam, when Adam was formed and God breathed the breath of life into him, he ultimately gave him the what? Keep my commandment. He gave him the commandments of God. Right. We and live. And do what? And live. And live. So yes, sir. But who formed one? Yes, sir. So ultimately, the commandments is the breath of life. Right, Luke 4 and 1, I'm going to show you more that the breath of life that was breathed into the black man 
we lack that today. The buck that we have now is in Christianity. The buck that we have now is uh, uh, envy and our oppressor. The buck that we have now is another man's religion. Right. Right. We don't have the original buck that God breathed into Adam anymore. We're not walking around with that understanding. And that's what we are here trying to give to our people. Read that, Ruth 4 1. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. This is the book of the commandments of God. This is the book of the commandments of God. We. And the law. And the what? And the law. And the law. We. That endure it uh -huh. forever. We know it. All that keep it shall come to life. All that do what? All that keep it shall come to life. So the Bible says, all that keep it shall come to life. Right. All that keep it shall come to life. Now, if if I tell you that we don't have the breath of life and the and the, and the, and the commandments is life, then how are we still able to live and walk? Give me that uh, Proverbs. Uh, he that wanted the other way of understanding. So ultimately, the breath of life is the keeping of the commandments not that if you don't keep the commandments you can still be oh no i got your question i'm gonna I'm answer your question all right i want to show i want to give the understanding because one may say well I'm, I'm still walking around i'm still doing what i want to do but guess what we are not living as a black man we're not living as a black man we are dead we are spiritually dead and i'm gonna prove that out of the bible we proverbs Chapter 21 and verse 16. The man that wandered out. The what? The man that wandered out. So the black man has wandered out of the way of understanding. The way of what? Understand. Understanding. Meaning what? We shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So guess what? We are considered the walking dead as a black community. And that's why, right? Second, uh, uh, Second Street Festival. Why right, is commemorating what's life when we had the unity to come together and build businesses. Right. Right? But guess what? That's not no more. That's not no more. You understand? I understand this is very challenging. It is challenging. <laughs> it is challenging. Yeah. But we gotta come together. Right. All right, we can do it. Guess what? There's what? Eight of us, ten of us out here. There's ten of us, but we didn't all just come together in a moment. It was a process of time. And guess what? We need you to come together on this side and learn who you are according to God. Right, right. Right? And so that way we can take back and rebuild the communities of the so-called black man. Right. All right? Hold on. What, go ahead. What you about to say? Well, I'm just going to say, uh, as always, a benefit to, uh, to, to, to know your Very good. That is that is true. That is true. Uh, Job eight and eight. I'm gonna give you this one last scripture. I'm gonna give you the scripture. I want you to stay. Now I want I want to ask it. I want uh yeah I want to ask his question. All right, come on, hold on. See, well, part of our history is that we shouldn't be working on the Sabbath day, and the Sabbath day is today. Right, right. The Sabbath the Sabbath day is God's holy day, right? And so a part of our history you may not have known it, but the Bible says a part of our history is for us not to work. Right, so that's that's an understanding that you got to get to. All right, you got to make preparations to say, if I come back to my heritage, I got to take off on the Sabbath day. All right, read that. The book of Job, chapter eight and verse eight. Come on. For I inquire. So what? For I in, for for inquire. So the Bible says for inquire, meaning due diligence, search, right, steady, ask questions, read. I pray thee uh -huh. of the former age of the what? Of the former age of the former age, meaning our forefathers. Read and prepare thyself and prepare thyself. Read to the search of their fathers. And where are we going to get the search of our fathers? Right here, Abraham, Isaac, Job was a black man. That's the search of our fathers. Right. Christ was a black man. Right. Black right. history is in the Bible. Right. Slavery is in the Bible. Right. right. And that's what we came out here to bring to the streets of Richmond. Right. All right, my brother, my brother with a tattoo. What's up? You had a question? Okay. Okay. All right. So are we? Are we? Very good. Everything. I 
Give me, give me Exodus 20. Yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me say something. Okay, my brother, I understand what you're saying. Let me say something. So everything has purpose. Everything is created for the purpose of God. So I understand what you're saying, right? So within that understanding, everything must praise the Lord. Understood. But there is a proper order in what, uh, uh, how things must uh, uh, order to the, or praise the Lord. All right. So you said I don't understand this black doctrine. Right? I know what you're talking about, but my brother. Give me Psalms 149. Uh, he gave the, uh, the commandment. Like, you're not telling me that. I know a black man. I, I sleep in the side of you just like every night. Man. So you, I'm, so. I'm living with I live all right. with a black man. Okay, so. The same complexion he is. My brother, my brother. Okay, are you are you here to teach or are you here to get uh, understanding? I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Because we, we're, we're, we're teaching. I'm here to be Jesus right here. I'm here, I'm here to be Jesus. That's why I'm here. So what's that mean? What's that mean? <laughs> you, hey, my brother, you said that you're here to be Jesus. What does that mean? My brother, when you say you are, you consider to be Jesus. The Jews slave Jesus and told Alec to put Jesus in. That's that's correct. The Jews got Jesus hemmed up. That's correct. So what's your point? Y'all killed y'all Jesus. You, we, you killed him too. No. Yeah. Give me, give me all the I don't believe in give me. the black people. So, so my brother, here, here's, here's the thing. We got to come back to the laws of God. It's not an I and you thing. It's an all of us thing. All right. No, I'm gonna tell you that you killed him too. Uh, uh, give me tattoos. I'm gonna show you something. The same thing. Leviticus 21. You killed him, man. And then you gonna say you killed him after you had him crucified. You had him crucified to pass the Bible. And, 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 know what, and know, what, this, know what Jesus said? Listen, listen. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Come on. Ye shall not brown the corners of your head. Come on. Neither shall you mar the corners of thy beard. Hey. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh hey. for the dead. You know what? Nor I print any marks upon you. So the Bible says we are not to have tattoos. All right. So guess what? When we are in sin, you kill Christ. You kill Christ. So guess what? We are here to get our people from sin. Right? So the sin is what's going to en enable us to get the kingdom of heaven. Give me Psalms one. Uh, so Psalms one forty nine. What I had you? The book of Psalms, chapter 147, and verse 19. My brother said, I don't understand this black doctrine. We, he showed his word unto Jacob. He did what? He showed his word unto Jacob. My sister, God says he showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob was the forefather of the Israelites. All right, the 12 tribes of Israel. We, his statues and his judgment. His what? His statues and his judgment. So the laws of God read unto Israel. Unto who? Israel. So guess what? The doctrine of God was given to the black man. That's, right. That's why when you hear us teach, we say the laws of God is for the black man. Nation is men leading by example.